love and welcome and thank you so much for joining me here today. My name is Shayla and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys all things related to my tragus piercing and I got my tragus pierced I want to say like a year and a half ago and some change so it's definitely healed by now so I figured it's just perfect timing to share my experience with you guys and the process in case you are interested in maybe getting it yourself. So the tragus piercing is the piercing of this little cartilage part right here on your ear and I chose to go with a silver hardware because most of my jewelry is silver and I just wanted to just match like that. So when choosing the location of the piercing shop I just went on Google and I looked up a local spot here in LA that had really good reviews and I just highly recommend for you guys to do your research and finding the right shop and the right piercer for you. Before you guys choose which side of your ear that you want to get your tragus on, choose the side that you do not sleep on every night. You don't want to sleep on the side with your tragus piercing at all until it is completely healed. When I got there, the staff member gave me a form to sign and it's basically stating like you're over um, a certain age and it also was saying that it relieves the shop of responsibilities if like a freak accident were to happen and like all this stuff so it's normal, you just sign it and you date it. So while I was waiting and I was looking at their case of all of the different options that they had in jewelry when it came to the tragus piercing, I was looking at either the silver stud or the silver hoop and while I was waiting and I was looking, a staff member came up to me and he said, have you chosen which one that you're looking to get? And I told him, you know, I'm weighing these two options. And he said, get the stud. And I said, why? And he said, well, because with the tragus and any cartilage piercing, he was like, you don't want it to move. So he was like, with a hoop, you kind of want to get that after it's healed and you can interchange your, your jewelry. And it's not going to be a problem, but he was like, with the hoop, it's more likely and prone to snag on things and it can cause keloids. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, okay, I'm getting the stud. I'm listening to you. <laughs> that particular location, they charged $80 for a, the tragus piercing, but it also depends on the jewelry that you get as well. So I met my piercer. She told me her name and she was walking me through like what she was going to do and the process. And she just kept asking me, you know, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? And she was very informative and very helpful in her answers. And she ended up sterilizing the area with a cotton ball, rubbing alcohol. And then she put a marker dot on the area and she gave me a handheld mirror and told me to look at it to see if the positioning was okay and I said it was fine. She told me to remain still and she said she was going to count to three and she wanted me to take a deep breath and then she was going to put the needle through and then the earring. And so it didn't hurt but I will say that the sound was so disgusting. I remember it was like yesterday like it sounded like someone crunching a hard shell taco in your ear. It was so so nasty it was gross she put the needle through she put the earring through and the backing is not just you know the normal typical slide on backing of an earring you actually have to screw it on and it has a flat backing tip so that's what I had as a backing and it actually had a little bit of room on the backing as well because um, she said that it's going to scab and the blood is going to be pushed out from the inner part of the cartilage so it's gonna build up on the bar of the earring and you need that room to clean it and she ended up giving me a form of the cleaning process and she told me that at their shop they actually had saline solution to clean the jewelry and the piercing area uh, which is just saline it's just water and salt but she said that the container is like this big and she's like honestly like I clean all my piercings by making my own solution and you get more uh, bang for your buck. So she's like just go to your local store get a gallon of distilled water and then put eight teaspoons of sea salt in it and shake it up and Do it that way. So I was like, I'm gonna listen to you So she ended up giving me her number to text her if I had any more further questions or if anything happened And she actually gave me her Instagram too. So she was like she was very sweet This is the sea salt that I use you guys don't get Himalayan salt don't get pink salt don't use Table salt, use natural sea salt. And I stored this in my kitchen because I cook with it. So now the cleaning process was kind of a struggle for me because with the saline solution, what I would do is I would pour 
the solution into a shot glass and then I would put it on my ear and I would kind of lean like this and I would have a towel on my shoulder and sometimes like it would drip down into the towel and I would do that for I believe like maybe like five minutes or so because I just really wanted to soak the solution into the piercing and to sterilize it and to clean it and I would do that morning and night when I was cleaning it with the solution and the shot glass what I noticed was the skin on my ear and more particularly like around the actual tragus piercing it was getting so dry so flaky and I was so tempted to put some kind of oil or lotion but then I was like I don't want it to get infected because again I did not want that keloid bump so I ended up hitting up my uh piercer and I asked her you know what can I do this is the situation and she was like your skin is probably drying out because of the sea salt water but um, she's like you can try getting dial antibacterial soap and you just get a q-tip and you just clean the area and call it a day and she, she actually told me <laughs> specifically don't go on Google and look up remedies how to clean your piercings and I did the exact opposite <laughs> because you guys I'm very natural in my hygiene products or at least I lean more towards those type of things so if sea salt water is drying out my skin I was like dial is probably going to like make my ear fall off <laughs> I looked up natural remedies of what people do to heal their cartilage piercings and there was everything from like tea tree oil and like lemon water but you guys what really stood out to me was Dr. Bronner soap. It was this right here. This is the baby unscented one. And I love Dr. Bronner's, the lavender scented one. I get the big container. I use it for everything. But I'm assuming because it's unscented, it would be safer for a piercing. So this is what I switched to from using the saline, homemade saline solution. And it worked like a charm. And what I would do is I would just take a q-tip i would wet it first and then i would just pop open the cap and put a little bit on the q-tip and i would clean around the jewelry and it just worked like a charm i never got a keloid and my healing process took like six months so yeah that's everything that i have for you guys about my tragus piercing and i highly recommend it i love it so much uh if you guys are looking into get it just do your research and I hope that it works out for you. You guys end up loving it. So that's the end of this video. And thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And join the fam. And until next time, bye you guys.